let me tell you about my mm, my arc nemesis okay so we've never been uh in good terms since day one like since i met her uh and reason is she's too tough to handle and she's always always in the way like everywhere i go she's in the way everything i do she's in the way like she's become a constant threat and uh i don't know if it's okay to name her okay uh good morning as in here we are about to go to school it is uh, 9 12 a.m in the morning we are going to do a day in the life video of the oppo f11 pro we're just going to see how it handles a day of usage and uh right now i'm actually playing some billy eilish uh wirelessly so we're going to see how that tasks the battery the 4000 milliampere battery we want to see if i'll have to charge my phone in the middle of the day or i'll finish my day go to bed with some juice left in the tank so right now uh Hey Google, how is my day looking like? Good morning, Hesian. The time is 9.13 a.m. Currently in Ruiru with 16 degrees and mostly cloudy. Today, it will be mostly cloudy with a forecast high of 23 and a low of 13. Will it rain today? No, it's not predicted to rain today in Ruiru. Thank you Google. Happy to help. Okay, so we're not going to have any rain today, so we're going to put this phone through its paces. It kind of feels blasphemous to like have a cover on here, but uh, for protection, and uh, I don't like fingerprint smudges, so we just have to do it. So without further ado, let's get. So it's 10.21 a.m. We just got to school and we are at 91%. As you can see, all my apps are installed on this phone. And uh, just to show you how that color OS works, you can see it cleanly arranges your notifications in the order they came. All notifications from Instagram, all notifications from Chrome, a nice clean way to group your notifications. And uh, what you're going to do right now is just upload a video to YouTube. Yes, today is upload day. We're going to upload one video to YouTube. And while we're at it, let's just talk about the phone specs here, particularly gaming on the Oppo F11 Pro. So the 6.53 inch screen on the Oppo F11 Pro is good for gaming. It's good for consuming content. It's got vibrant colors that really make your games stand out. And it's got a pretty nice refresh rate for when you're playing your games. Gaming is quite comfortable, but then again, uh, depending on how you hold your phone, you can actually block that mono bottom firing speaker. So you're actually going to get some muffled sounds when you're playing your games. And uh, since we are talking about gaming, let's talk about game space. Now, this is actually one of the selling points of this phone. So game space is basically an app that gives you extra juice from that MediaTek Helio P70 chipset on this phone and uh, it also improves the RAM performance to give you a better experience in your playing you know playing your games with no lag or no delays and uh, one point to note is that uh, the higher the performance you choose the better the gaming experience but then again at the same time the battery does take a hit you know when it juice up the processor really really hard to give you a stable gaming frame rate to give you stable gaming performance actually draining the battery a bit faster than normally than if you choose to play with a lower performance option so the app actually feels really futuristic and straightforward and with it you also get features that block notifications when you're gaming just to avoid distractions from your notifications or calls it's kind of taking gaming to the next level and i must say you do feel a difference when playing with a high performance mode on game space and a lower performance modes Next up is the gestures. Now this is where I started my love-hate relationship with the Oppo F11 Pro. So you get a couple of gestures to choose from. The gestures from Oppo, I must say, 
and here is what the big problem is are quite complicated not as straightforward or as easy to use as those you've seen on samsung nokia or just the default gestures from google it's like no matter how many times you watch the gesture tutorial you just can't get them to work as they should and that's what had me sticking to the virtual keys you also get the iphone type of gesture where you just have one line to use when navigating which i must say will really take time getting used to and you can also choose to work with the google gestures which is just more straightforward and easy to use all these complicated gestures and all that's what had me kind of stick into the virtual keys or if i wanted to use gestures i just use the google gestures so we're still uploading and uh, i'll tell you more of my love hate relationship with this phone so jumping into the convenience aid settings which this is basically the accessibility settings you'd find on another phone you get this feature called assistive ball so this is practically a ball on your screen that carries out some functions when you interact with it when you tap it once or you tap it twice or you tap and hold it so depending on how you set it up you can tap to go to go to your recent apps or tap and hold to lock your screen or just tap to take a screenshot or tap it again for 100 mode now i get it this is cool and different but why put a feature like 100 mode on assistive ball instead of having the ease and conveniency to just activate it from a gesture the way we are used to it kind of makes it feel gimmicky you know because it's simpler and much faster to just use a gesture to activate a feature like 100 mode than to use the assistive ball because i don't think most of the time you'd want that ball on your screen because it kind of proves obtrusive especially when you're watching videos and it's kind of helpful at times i know when you want to just take a quick screenshot instead of pressing your power button and your volume down button to take a screenshot you just take a screenshot from the assistive ball so i'd say the assistive ball is a gimmick and uh, you're better off just using the phone without it. So we are still uploading the video and I use this chance to just walk you guys through an app that I use whenever I'm carrying two phones around. And it's a pretty nice app, uh, it's easy to set up and it's actually very helpful when you want to deal with two phones. So you know when you're having two phones, you have your SIM card in one phone and uh, your other SIM card in another phone and you have all your apps running on both phones. So you might get notifications that are on one phone and at that time you're doing something on your other phone and you want to just quickly reply to that notification that message and uh, keep on doing what you want so it kind of makes more sense to just be able to reply to that message or interact with that notification from the phone you're using instead of having to stop what you're doing and switch to the other phone to just go through the notification the message reply to it reply to the message or uh, interact with that notification or the app that sent the notification so that's where bridge comes in you know once you set bridge up you can use it to, to view all the notifications you're getting on the other phone on the phone you're currently using and it also allows you to reply to messages you're getting on the other phone from the current phone you're using pretty simple pretty easy to set up and pretty pretty convenient so our video is up it just finished uploading and uh just to test the oppo's low light performance on the selfie camera i've put it next to the sony xperia xa2 just for comparison and i must say that 16 megapixel f2.0 lens on the oppo is really doing a good job letting more light into the lens to capture images and video under low light it's pretty impressive we're going to test it out in normal daylight to see how it holds up against a ton of light in just a few so sit tight and uh yes this camera is good for vlogging in not so well lit conditions another area where i feel like the oppo f11 pro is disadvantaged is that there is no wide angle action to go on here meaning you can't quite use this phone to fit a lot into your selfies <laughs> okay so right now we are at uh, 48% we are done with school we want to go home uh, start editing videos do assignments and uh, see how the battery holds up so, so far so far so good so now we're just heading home and uh, I saw the best opportunity to test out that two times zoom with HDR and yes it does a good job and keeps the level of details on the images or objects in focus and using the two times zoom can really get you up close to your subject
Okay, so we got home. We are kind of like right now we're just kicking it, just chilling, just resting before the day goes on. The day is still so young, and um, just a quick update we have 38% battery left from morning from the time we started the day. And uh, between the time we started and now, I've been playing music wirelessly, Bluetooth. Um, Wi-Fi connections, mobile data when I was moving around. Um, uh, we've been taking pictures, we've done vlogs, we've uh, done practically everything I normally do with a smartphone like normal days, calls, everything, WhatsApp, Snapchat, uh, all my social media. I run it on the F11 Pro and uh, let's, let's face it you guys. Uh, Big isn't always better. <laughs> but I really, really, I don't know how I'm going to like really task this thing to just drain it really quick because it's actually performing really, really well. If it runs out between now and the time I'm going to sleep, we can also test that book fast charging out. Um, on paper, it'll go from zero to 70% in 30 minutes that's pretty crazy um between now and then also just to mention i left everything on i left my wi-fi on i left my bluetooth on i left my location services on as in just basically how i use a phone as i said you know i like leaving those things on so that i get that seamless connection okay i walk home get into the house wi-fi connects automatically i want to listen to music i pull out my earbuds plug them into my ears they turn on and they automatically connect to my phone really really quick um my location services i always like to know where i am or where my phone is so i leave that on always just to be aware of my surroundings and uh so far so good so let's go on this is a sample video from the 16 megapixel pop-up camera now uh Oh my goodness, even my voice is gone. I think I just need to go like lie down. But uh, the day is still young and uh, let me tell you about my mm, my arc nemesis, okay? So we've never been uh, in good terms since day one, like since I met her. Uh, and reason is she's too tough to handle and she's always always in the way like everywhere I go she's in the way everything I do she's in the way like she's become a constant threat and uh, I don't know if it's okay to name her social media or anything but uh, that enemy is stairs oh god I hate stairs Jesus Christ rather a ladder than stairs oh my goodness but uh, okay back to the video yeah and fun fact is if you play around without two times zoom you can actually get some really nice macro shots also taking pictures with hdr off kind of takes the vibrance off the picture depending on what you're shooting and i'd advise to just leave it on hdr auto at least that's what i did and uh that just lets the phone decide whether or not to apply hdr on the type of shot you're taking also the AI in the phone helps to detect what picture you're taking. Uh, example, if you're taking a picture of a sunset and the phone adjusts its settings to fit that particular photo. Also, just to mention, by this time, Oppo had sent an update and a key feature of that update was an improval on the portrait mode. And testing it, yes, you can see it was improved from the time I did the unboxing video, which I'll link up here. And now the edges are captured more clearly and the blur isn't spilling into the image or object in focus. Just an add-on, you can also tinker with the beautification AI built into the camera and kind of reshape certain aspects of your shot, like the chin and the cheeks, etc. So it's now 9pm and uh, it's the perfect time to test out that night mode. Now, taking night shots on this phone is kind of different from the normal way you take your shots. And uh, looking at the night mode performance on the camera, it's not quite as stellar as expected because night mode was one of the selling features of this phone i'm hoping it's something they can also improve over time with software updates okay so it's 10 26 pm i'm done editing a video and uh we're just going to power down right now we are at 33 percent 
that's after our full day of usage we have not managed to kill this battery so that's it thank you for watching this video my name is hesion this is lord hesion subscribe if you haven't leave a comment right below that like button and uh see you in the next one